Hey there, this is your pal Pally, and welcome back to Getter Raid. These are the achievements that reward the Glory of the Ogremar Raider meta achievement, which nets you a pretty Galacrest looking mount. These achievements can be done in flex, normal, or heroic mode. This is part 4 of 4, and we'll talk about the achievements for the last three bosses in Siege of Ogremar. Siegecrafter Blackfuse, Paragons of the Kalaxi, and Garrosh Hellscream. Here are some annotations to skip ahead to the particular boss achievement you might be looking for. First up is Siegecrafter Blackfuse. The achievement here is called Lasers and Drills and Magnets, oh my! And reads, Defeat Siegecrafter Blackfuse without destroying each of the following weapons in Siege of Ogremar. So what this achievement refers to is the weapons that come out on the conveyor belt during the encounter. It's also an achievement that can be earned across different kills of the boss. That is, you'll have to kill him at least twice to get this achievement. A normal strategy for all difficulties of this fight is to send some DPS up to the conveyor belt to destroy one of the weapons that comes out. If you avoid killing one of the weapon types, you'll get credit for that part of this achievement. For example, you could do this encounter and only kill missiles. That would give you credit for lasers, magnets, and mines. Then the next time you kill it, you only kill mines on the belt. Then BAM, you got the achievement. Obviously, this is a little easier to do on flex mode than heroic when considering your strategy. But, just have to get your raid used to seeing some mechanic that they may not have seen before in your normal kills, and then you are good to go. Moving on to Paragons of the Kalaxi. Given the complexity of the encounter, you would be expecting a complex achievement. Sure enough, this explanation will get a little complex, so get ready. The achievement for Paragons is called Now We Are Paragon, and reads, Defeat the Paragons after assuming the mantle of three different Paragons in Siege of Ogremar. So it may not be well known, but every time you kill one of the bosses in the Paragons encounter, you can click on their dead body and possibly pick up a buff depending on what role you are playing in the fight. The goal of this achievement is, over the course of many different kills of the encounter, pick up three different buffs from the Paragons. The trick here is to figure out who is going to pick up what buff during the encounter so you can help your raid group members get this one. It's an individual achievement. So there are four different types of buffs here. Ones that anyone can pick up, ones that only tanks can pick up, ones that only DPS can pick up, and of course, finally, ones that only healers can pick up. Anyone can pick up Kaztix and Recall's buffs. Tanks can pick up Corvin's buff. Healers can pick up Zeril's and Ayakuk's buffs. And DPS can pick up Karaz's, Skier's, Kilrook's, and Hissick's buff. You might see that list and think that tanks and healers can't possibly finish the achievement. But remember, anyone can pick up Kaztix or Recall's buff, so you can cover it there. So maybe the first time, the tank picks up Corvin buff, but then the next kill, let them have Recall's buff, and then finally on the third kill, give them Kaztix. Really, this achievement is all about killing this encounter multiple times and making sure the right people get the right buff to progress on the achievement. So just do a little homework before the pull and see what people need and go from there. And finally, we come to Garrosh Hellscream and his lovely achievement. It is called Strike, and reads, Kill 18 Corcoran Warbringers with a single Iron Star. I'll explain the method of this achievement in a second, but realize it is extremely bugged. It's possible that if you've killed Garrosh on any difficulty, you may already have this one. It was even possible in LFR to get this until they hotfixed that. But anyway, let's talk about what you are supposed to do, regardless of bugs. So in the first phase of the Garrosh encounter, two siege engineers pop out on either side of the room and start energizing iron stars. If they are allowed to finish, the iron star rolls across the room, destroying everything in its path. Usually groups will kill one of the engineers, and then let one iron star roll across half the room. Now the trick is to get the packs of Corcoran Warbringers that spawn into the path of the Iron Star and have them die to it. First off, you'll need to get the Warbringers to about half health for them to die to the Iron Star, so make sure you don't slaughter the adds too quickly, as often happens these days with all our fancy gear. 
Then position the adds close to the middle of the room, and just as the Iron Star is rolling by, use some kind of knockback to get them into the path of the Iron Star. You can use Druid's Typhoon, Shaman's Thunderstorm, or if you want to get really fancy, you can use a DK's Mass Grip to grip all the adds to something like a Monk's Statue. Whatever it takes, get it done. Now the buggy part of the achievement is that it doesn't seem to require you to actually get 18 of them hit by a single Iron Star. In order to accomplish that, you'd have to kite around three sets of Warbringers who would be massively buffed by Garrosh by that time. So again, just try to get some hit over the course of your pulls and progression on this boss, or just kill him on flex and make sure you get a bunch hit. Sorry for the letdown, this achievement would have been really awesomely hard if it was not buggy. And that's it for part 4 of this achievement guide. And that's it for this guide on the meta achievement for Siege of Ogremar. If you have additional tips on any of these achievements or any other comments, post them below. And of course, subscribe and leave a like on the video if it was helpful. Catch you soon and have a good one!